Welcome to the subject, N3 Makana Technology. And we'll be looking at some previous national exam papers to get an understanding of what is expected for this subject. Now in this first uh, lesson, we'll be looking at power transmission. And if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and share this video. And I'll keep making some more videos for N3 Meccano technology. Now in the first question, we have a calculation. Design a wedge belt drive of a 105 kilowatt electrical motor which runs at 900 revs per minute. It drives a hammer mill at a speed of 570 revs per minute. The following are found from the applicable tables provided. The service factor is 1,2. The basic power per belt is 26,3 kilowatts. The additional power per belt is 2 kilowatts. And the correction factor is 0,95. In part A, we need to calculate the speed ratio. And to determine the speed ratio, it is the ratio of the speed of the faster shaft to the speed of the slower shaft. Therefore, it's 970 revs per minute divided by 570 revs per minute. And we end up with a speed ratio of 1,58 to 1. In part B, to calculate the design power, It'll be the motor power multiplied by the service factor. Now, the power of the motor is 105 kilowatts multiplied by the service factor of 1,2. And that gives us a design power of 126 kilowatts. In part C, we need to calculate the corrective power belt. And to do that, it is the basic power per belt multiplied by the power increment and multiply by the correction factor. Therefore, it's 23,6 kilowatts for the basic power per belt, multiply by the additional power per belt of 2,01 kilowatts, and multiply by the correction factor of 0,95. Therefore, we end up with an answer of 26,89 kilowatts for the corrected power belt. Now in part D, to determine the number of belts, it'll be the design power divided by the corrected power per belt. The design power is 126 kilowatts divided by the corrected power per belt, which is 26,89 kilowatts. And uh, if you sum that up, or if you uh, make the ratio, you round it off to the higher point, because you need five complete belts. You can't have 4,86 belts. So to round it off higher, it'll be five belts. Now in question 1.2, looking at the figure provided, and uh, this is a section view of a wedge belt, and we need to name the different parts as indicated in the diagram. Part A of the uh, wedge belt is the improved heat and oil resistant cover. Part B is the polyester cord for extra strength. Part C is the fiber loaded base for power transmission. Part D is the cord support cushion. And part E is the double cover for extra service. Now in question 1.3, we need to name three sprocket wheels that could be distinguished with regards to chain drives. They are drivers, idlers, and driven sprocket wheels. In question 1.4, state six factors that must be considered when using chain drives. We should consider the power and torque that must be transmitted, the type of unit that must be driven, the space that is available, the length of the chain, the number of teeth on the sprocket wheels and the position of the drive. Right, thanks for watching this video for N3 Makana technology. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you.